Is this War Thunder tank good? Do you even know what this tank is? I'll give you some hints. It's 59.4 tons. It's got a 105 millimeter cannon and it moves like your grandmother after a long night of wild bingo. It's the T-28. If you guessed it right, congratulations. You're a true War Thunder scholar and you probably need to go outside more. In my last video, I analyzed War Thunder data to find the best nations and lineups at 6.3 BR. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. I'll put a link in the description. But during my analysis, I found something interesting. The T-28 was one of the best US tanks at this BR based on KD, win rates, and tanks destroyed per battle. So I went deeper into the data and I found that the T-28 has been one of the most lethal vehicles out of all ground vehicles at 6.3. Look at these charts. We see that it has the highest aggregated KD and it also has the highest targets destroyed per battle. But is it really that good? To find out, let me show you the T-28 in action. So first of all, this thing is slow. By the time you reach the battlefield, the war might already be over. Your teammates, dead. The enemy team, also dead. It's just you and the realization that you should have picked a faster tank. Now the key to success is to not get flanked, move with your team, get in defilade, find cover, and then unleash the doom, just like this. This guy brought enough ammo for both teams. It's just absolute destruction with the T-28. This isn't just a tank, it's an armored waffle house serving up pain, sweat, and nausea. Its armor eats the enemy's hopes and dreams. Pure annihilation. And check out this guy. You thought you were safe? You're not, buddy. Just look at all of the burning tanks and carnage we have left behind. So yes, the T-28 is really that good. If you made it this far, subscribe and let me know what you want me to analyze next. See ya.